America only has to wait seven years for its next total eclipse. Are you sad the Great American Eclipse is over? Fear not, for another one is coming in the not-too-distant future. A total solar eclipse occurs when the new moon passes between the sun and the earth. The next total solar eclipse will take place on July 2nd, 2019. It will be visible from parts of South America and the South Pacific. The next total solar eclipse visible from the United States will take place on April 8th, 2024. The paths of the 2017 eclipse and the 2024 eclipse will intersect at Carbondale, Illinois. Southern Illinois University, which is based there, is billing itself as the Eclipse Crossroads of America. As many as 14,000 people were expected to attend a Great American Eclipse event at the school's sports stadium on August 21st, with tickets costing 25 bucks a pop. Eclipse mania is sweeping the country. Staring directly at the solar eclipse could really mess up your eyes. If you're planning to watch the Great American Eclipse on August 21st, then you need to know the dangers of staring directly at the sun. Staring directly at the sun during an eclipse can cause solar retinopathy. Symptoms of solar retinopathy include loss of visual sharpness, blind spots, changes in color vision, or distortion when looking at straight lines or grids. Heating of the retina by one or two degrees is enough to damage retinal cells, which can occur within 30 to 60 seconds of staring at an eclipse. Eye experts advise anyone watching the eclipse to use eclipse glasses or the pinhole box method. Mother Nature is about to totally freak out. Animals are going to act weird when a total solar eclipse passes over the United States later this month. Scientists say when the moon begins to move between the sun and the earth, we could see hooved animals lying down and hear songbirds fall silent. Eclipse chasers report seeing dolphins and whales swim to the surface of the ocean five minutes before an eclipse. Meanwhile, others talk of llamas gathering in line to gaze at the sky, or of spiders dismantling their own webs. According to scientists, an eclipse can disrupt animals' circadian clocks, convincing some it's time to go to bed, or prompting nocturnal creatures to come out and hunt. Researchers at the California Academy of Sciences are asking citizens to take part in an experiment by reporting animal behavior during the Great American Eclipse on August 21st. They want to know what all kinds of animals get up to, including domesticated ones. For more info, check out the iNaturalist app on the App Store or Google Play, or go to www.inaturalist.org. The Great American Eclipse is less than a year away. America has started counting down to a total solar eclipse that will be visible from coast to coast on August 21st next year, and NASA says it will only be visible in the USA. A total solar eclipse occurs when the new moon passes between the sun and the earth. In the path of the eclipse, the sun and its rays are completely blocked by the moon. The last total solar eclipse visible from the US took place in 1991, but could only be seen from parts of Hawaii. The 2017 eclipse will start in Oregon and pass over 12 states before exiting in South Carolina. Its path will be 67 miles wide. The Great American Eclipse of 2017 will be the first total eclipse only visible in the U.S. since the country was founded in 1776. Total solar eclipses occur about once every 18 months, but it's rare for them to be so accessible. According to NASA, next year's eclipse will be the first to stretch across the entire country since 1918. But if you miss this one, don't worry. NASA says the U.S. will only have to wait until 2024 for another total solar eclipse. How to safely watch the Great American Eclipse NASA has issued a set of safety guidelines ahead of a solar eclipse that will be visible to more than 300 million people in the United States on August 21st. According to NASA, an eclipse can be viewed directly through special purpose solar filters, such as eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer. These filters should meet ISO safety standards, and the manufacturer's name and address should be printed on the product. Do not use filters that are more than three years old, or that have scratched or wrinkled lenses, and do not use regular sunglasses. And unless you want to go blind, don't even think about using homemade filters either. An alternative method is to use a pinhole projector. 
Simply cut a pencil-sized hole in a piece of paper or cardboard. Then stream the sunlight through the hole onto a makeshift screen, such as a piece of paper. The most important thing to remember is that you should never, ever look directly at the sun. Well, not if you want to watch Tomo News again, that is. You only get one set of eyes, so look after them. Earth's atmosphere will go on the fritz during the eclipse. The Great American Eclipse is going to do a lot more than just make the sky go dark for a few moments. When the eclipse takes place on August 21st, part of the Earth's atmosphere will be affected. The ionosphere is an area of the lower atmosphere that protects the planet's surface from ultraviolet radiation. This radiation electrifies atoms entering Earth from space. This radiation stops temporarily during the eclipse. This is expected to impact GPS, radio, and other communication and navigational devices. The ionosphere will experience conditions similar to going from day to night and back again during the eclipse, and NASA will examine this short interval to better understand it. The space agency is funding 11 investigations into what takes place in the ionosphere during the eclipse.